Who are the fastest players in NFL history? Speed has always been one of the most coveted traits in the National Football League. It's why so much focus is on the 40-yard dash every season, or why it exists in the first place. And even if teams are moving away from reliance on that one number and are instead using ever more sophisticated tracking data, the idea remains the same. Where can I find the fastest players on the field? Because speed is an absolute cheat code. One important aspect of my list is going to be to adjust for era. Modern athletes are bigger, stronger, and faster than those from decades ago, but much of that change is environmental. They're not just inherently faster human beings. Whether it's nutrition, training, equipment, or whatever, modern athletes have a whole series of advantages over their historical counterparts. But that doesn't mean an Olympic athlete from the 60s couldn't dust a fast guy from today's NFL if given the same advantages. I'm also going to need some level of actual football production before I'm putting a guy on the list. Jeff Demps had Olympic sprinter speed, but the man played 20 regular season snaps in his NFL career. That's just not enough. The first thing that jumps out when you start researching something like this is just how many fast guys have played in the NFL. Some of the fastest men alive have pulled on pads and a helmet, and some regular speedsters don't even come close to comparing. This list is also not going to be just a recitation of the fastest 100 meter times ever recorded. Football speed is different from track speed, and even track speeds vary by event. So let's start by running through some of the fastest players in league history that were clearly not the fastest of all time. Jamal Charles doesn't get enough credit or enough respect for his career, and we're going to continue that disrespect here by leaving him off the list. Joey Galloway was an absurdly fast deep threat, even well into his 30s not fast enough. Deshaun Jackson, same thing. Ted Ginn, Devin Hester, nope. Chris Johnson possessed truly angle-breaking speed and acceleration. Still doesn't crack the lineup. John Ross owns the 40-yard dash record at 4.22, but in pads and a helmet, never bought it. Cliff Branch had a 10-second flat 100-meter personal best before joining the Raiders. Jim Thorpe was an absolute athletic freak show way back in the day, I wouldn't rule out any athletic pursuit for him. Rocket Ishmael, Trinden Holloway, Michael Vick. Nope, nope, nope. First guy on our list is primetime, Deion Sanders. So much of quantifying a player's speed is listening to the people that had to actually play against them at the time. Deion Sanders posted sub 4340 times before being drafted back in 1989 and did some special things on the baseball diamond as well as in football. His speed with the ball in his hands was obvious any time he got a chance, but hearing players talk about his recovery speed and coverage with the ball in the air is to hear them talk about something truly special. Sanders is one of the fastest ever. Ronaldo Skeets Nehemiah is another player steeped in mythology. The nickname Skeets apparently came from how fast he crawled along the floor even as a baby. Few players can rival Nehemiah's sprinting credentials. He was a four-time U.S. national title holder, an IAAF World Cup winner, and a Pan American Games champion. He set the 110-meter hurdles record multiple times and arguably only didn't add an Olympic medal to his resume because the U.S. was one of 65 nations to boycott the Games in Moscow in 1980. He only played three years in the NFL, managing a total fewer than 800 yards, but he did average 17.5 yards per reception and may have had more success in a different offense, or even a different era. Now we're diving deep into the archives for Don Hudson, who starred for the Green Bay Packers in the 30s and the 40s. Hudson's production relative to the rest of the league at the time was absolutely silly. Even Jerry Rice hasn't touched the level of dominance that Hudson had. His 99 touchdowns still ranks 11th in NFL history, and he has 54 more scores than anybody else that stopped playing before 1950. Hudson had unrivaled speed. Nicknamed the Alabama Antelope, Hudson recorded a 9.7 second 100-yard dash time back in 1931. The official world record at the time was 9.4 seconds. One player showing that sometimes 40 time isn't everything, Raiders receiver James Jett had a 449 40 time to his name. He also had a 10.1 second 100 meter personal best and set the fastest time of the 1990s in the NFL's fastest man competition that ran for a little more than a decade and was recently revived as of a, of a sort. 
Jet ran as part of the USA's 4x100 relay team in Barcelona, running in the first two rounds before giving way to Carl Lewis for the finals. He received an Olympic gold for his part in that competition. Jet had over 4,000 yards receiving in the NFL, and again averaged over 17 yards per reception. Daryl Green didn't have an Olympic sprinting pedigree, but he had the speed for it. His personal best in the 100 meters was 10.08 seconds, and he went on to become one of the greatest cornerbacks in NFL history. Green's speed stood out on the field throughout his career, and there are multiple plays where he runs down exceptionally fast players in their own right. On tape, you can see Green running down Tony Dorsett, Eric Dickerson, Jerry Rice, and Bo Jackson, among others. He was a four-time winner of the NFL's fastest man competition, winning it every time he entered it, and reportedly ran a 4 4 time for his 50th birthday long after retirement. Tyreek Hill, the cheetah. What makes Tyreek Hill special is that he's probably the fastest player in the NFL at every level. Instant quick get-off, crazy acceleration, and insane top speed. When the rest of the Dolphin speedsters were getting in on the top speed GPS action earlier in 2023, Hill seemed to take it as a personal challenge and set a new top benchmark. His speed is absolutely next level, and I'd say there's a very good chance he's currently the NFL's fastest man. Randy Moss was another player that could make even fast people look slow. Moss just had another gear to everybody else. Other players may have been able to live with him off the line, but then Moss would hit his stride and his absurd length would just take him clean past people. From his first moments on an NFL field, he was operating at a different speed that broke angles and invalidated coverages. There are plays where he just glides past players that run a 4-3 flat 40. Moss himself was credited with a 4.25 40, but there was nobody faster running downfield when he was at his peak. Trying to separate myth and fact is difficult when it comes to guys like Bo Jackson. Even elite athletes speak about him in reverential terms, but his career has developed its own lore due to the unfortunate way it was cut short due to injury. Bo owns probably the most famous, unverified, 40 time in NFL history, supposedly clocking a 4-1-3 at an Auburn Pro Day. His NFL career was just four seasons long and 38 games before injury hit him. But he averaged 5.4 yards per carry and had some crazy speed evident from the tape. Raiders legend Howie Long talks about how they had plays designed for Bo that don't function with normal athletes. And of course, Jackson did all of this at 230 pounds, far heavier than anybody else on this list. Unlike Nehemiah, Willie Galt was a football player and a track star at the same time, rather than moving from one to the other. He was another sprinter that missed out on potential medals by the boycott of the Moscow Games, but he was part of the world record-setting 4x100 relay team and won world championship gold in 1983 with that team. He set multiple sprint records during his career, and with the Chicago Bears in the NFL, he gained over 6,600 receiving yards at 19.9 yards per catch. But in my opinion, unquestionably the fastest man to ever play in the NFL was Bullet Bob Hayes, a wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys in the 60s and 70s. Hayes is still the only person to win an Olympic gold medal and a Super Bowl. Olympic gold tells its own story, but certainly before Usain Bolt, it was a good argument that Hayes was the greatest sprinter to ever live. He was the first man to run the 100-yard dash in 9.1 seconds, the first to break 6 seconds for the 60 yards indoors, and at one point won 49 consecutive races over 100 yards or meters. He tied the world record for the 100 meters at 10.06 seconds, running on a badly chewed up cinder track with somebody else's borrowed shoes. And he's credited with the fastest relay leg in history with a hand time mark somewhere around 8.6 seconds. In that race, Hayes took the baton in fifth place before winning by a three-meter margin in what many people called the greatest sprint ever seen. In the NFL, he effectively caused teams to have to invent zone coverage because man-to-man against the world's fastest man was clearly not an option. He held the all-time Dallas receiving touchdown record until Des Bryant broke it and finished his career with 7,400 yards and 71 touchdowns. He's a pro football Hall of Famer, and in my opinion, the fastest man to ever play in the league. But let me know, who have I missed and who would be your pick 
for the fastest player to ever play. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and let me know any of your thoughts in the comments.